Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a full setup uh, and a breakdown of our packs, how we have them set up for hunting, and as well as our whole setup going up the tree, kind of show you guys what we have and how we do it. So first we're gonna start off with Tommy's pack. Yep, so here I keep my sticks on the bottom, easy to get to, especially with these being the arsenals holding down to 13 inches. Got those there. I just got these, found a good spot for them, some hang and bang knee pads for those long day sets. In the main area, we've got Razor Platform, Backwoods Mobile Gear, a three-step aider, and the saddle. And that's pretty much it. Now, do you have calls and like... Yeah, I got a call in here, knife, gear rope range finder, kind of miscellaneous stuff in here. Just a grunt call, nothing crazy. So simple. Simple. All in one pack, so you're just carrying that in your bow. That's it, that's the idea. So literally it took probably a minute to get that saddle on and hook everything up to it to be ready to climb. And you still have one more stick, but that's gonna be your bottom one to set with your with your yep. aider and everything. Pretty cool. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna time Tommy from the time it, he starts putting his first stick on till he's up and ready to hunt. So I've got his phone here. I'm gonna hold that while we while he gets his stuff going. And this is Tommy's first time actually setting everything up all in one shot. So if he's a little bit slow, first don't hold it against him. Set up. <laughs> so we're starting the clock right now. That is a big tree. Sometimes you just need a helping hand. <laughs> so with this three-step aider, he's able to put his stick up on the tree. How tall are you, Tommy? Uh, six six one something six like that foot. six foot so he's got a, at least a foot above his head so he's right around seven foot with his first stick so he's got the top standoff loop on this backwoods aider probably won't be in a tree this big in the woods not. <laughs> not likely possible but getting his lineman's belt put on. So normally Tommy would have his gear hoist rope on his saddle attached to his bow on the ground. But for this video, we're just doing a, just the climb and, and the setup of the platform and all that. So. Mosquitoes are terrible. Wait, why'd you take it off of there? So it doesn't swing around in the wind. Ah, somebody might have missed that. That aider being swinging around in the wind, the deer would definitely see that. Couple little final tune adjustments. Bring your bow up. You're ready to hunt. Sure. Oh, let's check the clock. Let's see what how long it took you. Five minutes, maybe? Uh, let's see. Oh shoot, your phone locked again. 
10 minutes. We'll say 10 minutes because I just had to unlock your phone. So it took you took you 10 minutes to get up there and all set up. So maybe with bringing your bow up, putting a gear hanger on the tree, 11 or 12 to fully be ready to hunt or 14 with putting your knee pads on. Those would probably be on before you climb when you're actually going to hunt, but this is Tommy's first time. So he's, he's still a rookie. New sticks, new saddle, new platform. It's like he's starting all over from new. That upgrade. Not bad though, 10 minutes. And then once he gets all. I feel like it takes some people probably the same amount of time in a preset. I mean, not a tree stand with preset sticks, but for running and gunning on public land or bouncing around on, on a big piece of private, you can't beat 10 minute setup time. So now we're gonna drop a tape measure to show you guys how high he got with three sticks and that three step aider. Might need a longer tape measure. <laughs> it's 25 foot, so hopefully it reaches. So we're gonna go we're gonna go to the high side of the tree because this is a ditch right here. So we're gonna go to this side of the tree. If I can keep mosquitoes off me. Okay, so to the top of my platform, you're looking at 19 foot six. 19 six. 19 okay. six. And I didn't, the platform's maybe a foot above my top stick. Yeah, it's not far above it at all. And so, I didn't space out my sticks as high as I could go either. Okay. So that's not bad. So 19.6 at your platform, you're six foot tall, six foot. So you're you're at 25 feet, over 25 feet. Oh yeah. Not bad. Tommy was just saying the knee pads are pretty nice. They're like rubberized, so they grip the tree pretty good. Yep, comfortable. Now that's if, are you a leaner or sitter usually? Usually I lean. Yeah. I usually lean with all my weight on my feet, but after some of those long sits, you start feet start hurting and yeah. Especially when you're wearing something like muck boots. Yeah, I'm a leaner. Um, probably 90% of the time, if I'm on a long sit, I'll let my tether down and sit down actually. So that I really don't need the knee pads, but they probably would be nice to have either way. Not bad. Not bad at all. Look good up there though, dude. How do you like it versus the hawk saddle and the hawk sticks? Way better. <laughs> way faster, way quieter. Way lighter. More comfortable. Lighter. Way lighter. All right, so my pack here, this is just a cheap field and stream bag that I actually got given to me from a buddy. I've got duct tape on, I need a new pack, but this one works just just fine still so got my tethered one sticks here on the back those just clip on with these two straps in here in the main compartment I've got my cruiser platform the mini seeker stores right in there got my saddle I've got my three step aider from backwoods I've got a couple other things in here, face mask, I usually have a water bottle, things like that. I have my grunt calls, flashlights, toilet paper, all that stuff up in, up in the front pouch here. Extra carabiners, hooks for the tree. So pretty, pretty much the same thing as Tommy's, very simple, all in one pack. Um, just carrying this in my bow. And if I have to, if it's cold, if I need more clothes, um, I will take my platform out and strap it back here with my sticks, but that's only 
like if in a necessity situation if I have to do that just because they they clank together and I don't want that but if I've got to have the extra room I can I can do that as well so real simple all in one pack So for my sticks, I've got the tethered ones and I hook them, I've got Kydex clips on my saddle. So I just hook those right down in there like that. I just do one on each side. Just like that, and I can climb. This will be my bottom stick. So now we're gonna start the timer. Tommy's got the timer going, or about to start and see how long it takes me. That's it. That's it. What do you think? It's hot. <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, so that's it. We're up here at hunting height. And then I just take my gear hoist and pull my bow up. Put my gear hangers on the tree, hang my bag up, hang my bow, and I'm hunting. Super fast. Way faster than we used to be with our hawks and you know the cam buckles and all that stuff. And oh yeah. I think that that hang free system and, and the sticks are, you know, way better. And these platforms are much better too, as far as being able to maneuver and, you know, you can stand up on these ones if, if you have to. So, really excited, ready to go. Well guys, there you have it. We set up both of our setups there and showed you everything we've got into it. And both of us are right around that 10 minute mark of going up and down. Couple little tweaks, fine tunes, you know, we're, we're out here practicing. That's why we're out here today, just to get a feel, get everything ready for the season. So it's just second nature come that time. So um, one thing I didn't mention, I didn't drop a tape measure from up there because Tommy and my platforms were about six inches apart. So we're right there at 20 foot, 19, six, 20 feet, somewhere in there. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video of our saddle setups. Hope it helps you guys, gives you some ideas maybe. and. Good luck this season. Uh, I know the kids are out this weekend and here in Michigan doing the youth hunt. So my daughter actually shot a deer last night at six point, her first buck. And so we're getting excited. And so thank you guys again for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and we'll see you guys all in the next video.